What's going on guys? My name is Jordan and welcome to my flipping life. So today I've been putting out a little bit of Halloween stuff. Uh, I haven't recorded in a few days. I'm just going hard at this pro haunt. For those of you asking. I put out some lighting yesterday before I went to the haunt. Uh, I haven't really done much else. It, it <laughs> I haven't had a whole lot of time here, so it's taken a toll. I haven't done any videos. It sucks. I know. I'm sorry. Um, but I want to just chime in and talk a little bit about the haunt. It's, it's so much fun. Oh, my God. I know... Before I was like on the fence, like oh, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do it next year. Oh hell yeah, I'm totally doing it next year. This is so much fun. It kicks your ass. It beats up your whole body, but it is such an extreme haunt. It is nothing like I really expected it to be. Cause I had like extremely high expectations. I knew this place was like messed up, but it is so so far beyond what i thought it's amazing and i was extremely skeptical on like if i was gonna go back and do it next year but hell, hell yeah i'm doing it next year we're just gonna have to figure out something else for my my haunt because this is amazing i love doing it just the scares you get and learning what's really scaring people and and just the dumb stuff like People are so afraid of what's in the woods and I just grab a handful of dirt and toss it into the trees and they freak out and it's amazing. It's it's the dumbest little things that is absolutely awesome. And it's just, I'm using all of my environment and it's so freaking cool. And I had such a good time this weekend and I'm feeling it right now. Everything hurts, my knees are killing me, my toes are still numb. For my steel-toed boots cutting off circulation but yeah whatever i'm gonna have to get some new boots here soon I'm, I'm loving it it is so much fun but i just went out there and put up some new lights i ordered some new lights off of ebay and they finally finally came in but they came in on friday so i didn't have any time to um, record or do anything I put one out and then left for the haunt so I have three out there I have one more left I put three out and I have a new prop out it's on the porch uh, it's not very well lit so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it I do need to put some bricks on it to keep it down so it doesn't fall over and I had it actually and then I bought um, two skeletons I found at Home Depot uh, me and my boss went for some stuff at Home Depot and I saw four in a box and I was like, bro, I'm totally buying these. And I threw them in the cart, ran over like kid in a candy store and threw them in the cart. And I bought those two skeletons. I uh, should have bought all four, but I bought two, but whatever. But I have one out there. I have him zip tied to the one pole. Like he's climbing the pole and just like sitting on the banister. It looks pretty sweet. I have his eyes on right now and it's dark out so i'm going to take you out front and give you a look around of what my new lighting setup looks like because i've kind of switched everything around um show you some of the stuff that i can i've tried to light some of the stuff up on the porch so hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on on the porch and uh i'll show you all the new lighting and decorations i have out which I don't have too much new decorations out. I just have rearranged some of the lighting because the new lights I got in uh, are way better and they have all have remotes and I can change all the colors and brightness and stuff. So that's pretty sweet. Um, just trying to figure out what's not shining into the bedroom window is the, the big thing right now. And right now the wife says we're good. There's no lights shining into the bedroom window. So... I text her when I put new lights out. Like, hey, is there anything, any light issues? Nope, we're good. So tonight was a we're good, and I put three new lights out and moved some stuff around. So no light issues. So I will take you out front 
I'm going to go turn my porch light on real quick and then I'm going to show you everything out front. Stay tuned. So we got the Jack and Sally still and I added uh, Jack here. I tried to hammer Sally in the ground and I broke it. So I have to repair that and I would like to get her back out here. I just have to uh, put a washer on the screws and then put it back in. So here we go. We still got the green light on the Reaper. I moved my one purple light over here on this tombstone, but mainly to light up the werewolf. This guy now has two lights on him, the scarecrow, so he's better lit. One of my new lights are right here, lighting up that corner. And there's actually three lights hitting that corner. There's that confetti whirl of motion light. And then there is a purple black light up there too, which shines up on the Reaper, on the Phantom. And I'm trying to light up the porch here so you can see the Plague Doctor. You can see my skeleton here. It's hanging off the porch, it looks pretty cool. So I'm trying to light that up. Yep, Miserable Marie. She's got this greenish light on her. Now this purple light is one of my new ones. Shining over here to light the Headless Horseman up in this gravestone. Of course, I still have my purple light here. Over here is the black light in that confetti light I don't know it's weird I'll find a place for it and here I don't know how well you can see we got Sam he's not an animatronic but my wife got him for my anniversary gift so I made a little stand for him and put a bucket in his hand and I have him set up here on the porch so I'll probably get like a I'm gonna put some bricks on him keep him from falling over and his lantern lights up and flickers like that when he's on but I don't have batteries in the phantom I'll just do a quick this is what you see if he's walking by oh we got a looky loo here driving slow so we're getting her getting her pretty lit up Pretty happy with how this is looking. Considering all the time I don't have to work on it. It's looking pretty good. I still need to figure out something with Tina on the roof. Um, not sure if that's going to happen this year, but we're getting there. This thing is looking cool. I love it. But I just wanted to give you an update on what I've been doing. Like I said, there's not much more decorations out. Just a skeleton and uh, Sam, which I just got for a wedding anniversary. So I made him a little stand, put him up there, put a little bucket on his hand and stuff. So I think he looks pretty cool. Goes great with my door cover. I'm going to put him in the yard eventually, like behind the candy bucket when the time comes for trick-or-treat. 
But for now, we're just gonna put him up on the porch, but I need to put some bricks around him, zip ties, some bricks to his feet, so he doesn't blow over. But I just wanted to show you what I've got. I know I haven't done a video. I've been super busy, and when I have time to do a video, I don't feel like doing one. I'm just so tired. Um, this haunt is definitely kicking my butt, but it is so worth it. It's such a great experience, such an awesome time. And uh, I just figured I would take you out front, show you what I got. I'll do a daytime video. Hopefully tomorrow I get some time and I can do a daytime shot and show you every, what everything looks like during the day. We've definitely had a lot of cars driving by really slow from what I can tell when I'm home. Um, obviously Fridays and Saturday nights I can't really tell. Um, but I have just also added my house on the list, on the map I should say, for the Cleveland Haunt Club. So that's pretty sweet for me. Now my house is actually, a, you're able to look up my house and um, find if you're in the area you're able to find my house on the map and come check it out if you want to come check it out and i have very specific details uh basically i just stated it's a it's a yard display and they have a selection you can go and pick through if it's a professional haunt if it's a home haunt or if it's a yard display which mine's a, a yard display slash home haunt but it's more of a yard display so i label it as a yard display that you can come anytime throughout the day and look at it but if you want to see it all lit up with the lights you know lights turn on at, at, at dusk so i have that all listed um if you want to park park in the parking lot next door come check around and look at everything so no issues there i have that submitted so hopefully it gets added soon so that's pretty awesome i'm pretty happy about that but i just wanted to get on here and let you know what's up I haven't been on here for a few days. I know. I apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to start getting some more videos going. I got some more stuff I want to put out there. Hopefully this week I can start getting some more stuff out there and get the ball rolling. Because I want to get this solidified to where um, I'm done messing around and just add some little stuff here and there. I still, like, I still want to get my spiders up there. I have another skeleton I want to get up on the roof or somewhere on the porch, something. And I got like a scarecrow I'm going to put out there yet. I got some more tombstones to put out there and some groundbreakers I'm going to put out. Uh, not tonight, but uh, this week I'm definitely going to put some more stuff out there. But I just wanted to jump on here and let you know what I've done so far since I've been on a little hiatus for about a week. So... Remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.